So recently, I've been hearing a lot about Intel Evo and Intel Arc. And just like some of you guys, I've been just really curious to figure out if it's as good as it sounds. And I know when it comes to laptops, everyone has their favorite operating system. But guess what? Sometimes most people have to operate within the Windows ecosystem for either work or play. So when Intel reached out and said, hey, Siobhan, you want to feature this laptop? You know, I had to check it out. Usually high-end laptops come with a CPU and dedicated graphics card from either Nvidia or AMD to handle all the heavy lifting. But now Intel has stepped in, they've made their own dedicated GPU. We all know how good Intel CPUs are, so I'm excited to test out this performance. The unboxing experience was really nice. Besides the laptop, my friends over at Intel was kind enough to send me some goodies like this little astronaut figure and also a crew neck with the Intel Arc branding. But you already know we had to do a little fit check real quick so we got the intel crew neck on you know what i'm saying shout out to intel how we looking look at them gains <laughs> pretty clean pretty clean anyways let's get back to the video so the laptop we're checking out today is the 16 inch lenovo slim 7 powered by Intel's Evo platform, and it's rocking that Intel Arc dedicated graphics card. Straight out the box, I'm already impressed. The build quality of this laptop is solid, and it feels premium. And guess what? You want that premium feeling whenever you're paying a premium price. So to me, it all makes sense. I love how easy they made this laptop so you could open it with one finger. There's even a small indent for your finger to grip the screen. When you open the screen, the hinge, is super sturdy and it stays in place. Now, right below the hinge, that's where you have the forward facing speakers. And you also have more underneath the laptop to just provide an overall better listening experience. Now, don't get me wrong, these speakers aren't gonna blow the house down, but it's really decent for a laptop of this size. Now, next up, when it comes onto a laptop, we have to talk about the typing experience. The typing experience, it's really good, but it did take some getting used to since it's a full keyboard layout, but that's great for people who love crunching numbers. You have your numpad over this side. I know gamers don't really like using numpads a lot, but if you're into accounting, you're a math savvy person, you definitely appreciate the full keyboard layout. Keyboard is also very tactile, you know what I'm saying? So it has decent travel distance. You have plenty of space to rest your palms when typing. The key presses is also really silent. So if you were at like a library or you're just somewhere that you need to have, like you don't wanna to make too much noise. If you're typing away on this keyboard, you will be fine. Making our way down to the trackpad, you have a large enough surface to be comfortable with, it glides smoothly, and it has physical buttons. So you have a physical button for your left and right click, love to see it, it's not no fake buttons that some laptop manufacturers use. There's nothing really to hate or really complain about the trackpad, I love it. Now port selection, in case you want to hook this laptop up to an external display, you can with a single HDMI 2.0 port, and also you could transfer data or connect peripherals because you have two USB-A ports and also an SD card slot and a Thunderbolt 4 port. So a lot of port selections, you will be fine. Even if you use wired headphones, it's nice to see that they still have a headphone jack here for all those wired headphone lovers out there. And if you ever run out of juice on the go, thankfully this laptop has rapid charge boost. Funny name, but it works really well. It uses a proprietary charging cable with just 15 minutes of charge, you get over two hours of playback, which is insane. So for me personally at home, I usually get around like seven hours on just regular moderate usage and it usually lasts me for the entire day. But if you're out and about, it's good to know that you could literally speed back up, just 15 minutes of charge, you could get two hours of battery life. Love to see it. Another thing we love to see is this display. Of course, you got the wallpapers rocking on it, but I love how Lenovo kept their screen almost near borderless. It's a 16 inch, 2.5K touchscreen um, <laughs> display. It's absolutely stunning, you know what I'm saying? It gets very bright, up to 500 nits of brightness. The colors are accurate. It also has a 120 hertz refresh rate, which is not only good to look at, but it's also good for gaming. And I personally love the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. 
up top we do have a webcam there's also windows hello to let you easily and securely log in i feel like every laptop should have that feature now another good reason you want to buy this laptop is because of how it looks it looks really good it looks sexy but the performance the performance is one of the most important parts. So just to preface this, this is the Lenovo Slim 7. It's been ran on the Intel Evo platform and with Intel Evo laptops, you can expect to have longer battery life, faster processing speeds for productivity and stuff like that. And the new upgraded Wi-Fi 6E technology, which is gonna be the pinnacle of Wi-Fi cards in coming next, the, the next coming years. So this is basically future proof. Now my specific model right here is running Intel's 12th gen core i7 12700H processor. We got 16 gigs of RAM up in this thing and Intel's own Arc series graphics card. But how does that perform in real world usage? Let's find out. So yeah, I fired up Valorant to play some games and I was honestly so surprised with how smooth it was running. I was averaging around 170 FPS in games and that's with the display set to a 2.5K resolution. Thanks to that Intel Arc graphics card, it was pulling through phenomenally. So I took it further, you know what I'm saying? I hopped into Adobe Premiere Pro, which is my primary editing app. This is my video editing app of choice, this is what I use. And I could easily scrub through my 4K 10-bit timeline. So this is with my Sony A7S, my Sony A7 IV. Sony A7 IV, 4K 10-bit timeline. It was scrubbing through at quarter preview with ease, even at half preview with ease, which just caught me by surprise. I have to be honest though, if you're adding multiple layers, you're adding graphic titles, you're adding crazy color correction, it's gonna slow down. But the fact that it could handle 4K 10-bit files, which is like some of the largest files you'll ever need, most people buying this laptop are probably never gonna use those files, so you'd be more than fine, you know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll be chilling. All right, so the most important thing when it comes down to these reviews is the price. How much does it cost? Does it make sense? We have to talk about it because that's where you figure out if you really need it or if it's worth it or not. So this current model that I have right here would run you around 1,600 Canadian dollars plus taxes. In hindsight, that might sound expensive, but if portability is your thing and you also love performance, then there's no need to sacrifice performance, graphics, or battery life for a thin and lightweight laptop. I know so many people that have thin laptops just because of portability and they have like a beastly PC at home. This, I could easily throw it in my bag, head out to work, you know what I'm saying, without being weighed down. And when I get back home, this is the same laptop that I could fire up some games and play on. I'm talking about Valorant, Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? Those are the games I play, Call of Duty. And that's what Intel Evo laptops with Intel Art graphics card are good at. That's what they're designed to do. Be both thin and lightweight, but still packs a punch. But yeah, overall, I've been having a good experience with this laptop for the past couple of weeks. It's been solid. I'm looking forward to using it more, especially when I'm traveling. I will be traveling a lot this year. I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to bringing like travel videos to the channel. I just think that would be fun. And testing out laptops like this, new devices, phones, all that day in the lives, it's gonna be fun. So yeah, all the links for this laptop, Lenovo Slim 7, powered by Intel Evo, will be down below in the description. Thanks to Intel and Lenovo for making this video possible. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out. Gotta go edit.